Hey, this is Joe from Resource Mobility, uh, Divi Mobile Design, and we're going to do a quick video here of an easy way to embed um, a Facebook page post feed into your website, and there's one thing that you're going to need. Uh, let me pull up my plugins here. So, one plugin I recommend everyone have is this Add Funk Head and Footer Code. And what that does is it adds this section to every page or post. And it'll let you put in anything that you need to put into the header, um, script, or anything. Um, instead of having to integrate it through your whole site, it'll let you do it on a per page or uh, per post basis. So you can add that plug in and I'm going to go ahead and I'll just name this uh, full site Facebook feed and I'm going to go ahead and just enter another text box here and I'm going to call this one mobile Facebook feed <clears throat> so once you have this put in you can go to the Facebook developer <clears throat> you anyone can access it for a page plugin I've already put in Divi mobile design link but you would just paste a link from any site into this spot here and then you set your width and you set your height and you know you can add the cover photo if you want in here um, I usually hide it and then you can show the friends faces if you want but I usually don't use that part as well um, once you have that put in you just put get the code this part um, opening body you can just put that into the head so let's go ahead and drop this down here so that's in the head we'll go ahead and collapse that down now since I do a lot for uh, mobile I'm gonna go ahead and embed this into here and I usually well not usually as wide as it can be um, on mobile is 300 wide and you can set the height to whatever you want and this is really handy like if you're doing a, a recent news tab on the mobile or social feed and then you can just put this in right here and that's going to show on the full website and then you just have to come in here and disable accordingly so I'm going to hide that on mobile and then on this one I'm going to disable it on desktop and tablets I'm going to go ahead and update here now. I'm just using a blank page template. There's no reason to you can design it however you'd want. So I'm going to refresh the page here. So I have it here. Now as I shrink it down I just have the 300 wide so it works great on mobile and then on the full site then the larger one but you can you know don't use the blank page template you can add you know image logo design your whole site I uh, do use it um, on an urban timber this is how the client wanted it laid out so 
if you come into here, uh, in the news, they wanted their social media and stuff. So they have their Facebook feed, their Twitter feed, and then their recent news articles and stuff. But it loads and looks great. I use the 300 wide. Um, so everything loads in on a, on a mobile and people can see it. Hope that helps. Thanks. Bye.